record. All right, let's get started. Somewhere on page nine, but where on page nine? We are in the middle of line two, starting with aha n. All right, middle of line two. Yes. Starting with aha n. So here. Uh -huh. yep. All right, and we got through the hieratic? Yes, starting yeah. clean. For once. Oh, <laughs> no wait. Hang on. Hang on. Am I wrong? No, I have a mark there oh, too. No, that line too. Yeah, aha, and you said. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, line two or three? Two. 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 So the line numbers are above. Oh. That threw me too. I thought. I thought. Gotcha. Thank you. So, Acha and Ise, who wants it? I can take it. Uh, all right, it's yours. Okay, Acha and Ise, Ash Segabu, uh uh. uh then Isis cried aloud greatly, as she does. You say, Herjed and I forgot this is Hamid. Mm -hmm. um, and she said to the copper, um, uh, F, M, F, mm -hmm. um, to, re to remove it from him. Mm -hmm. um, her, pai shedi, pai. Um, Behold, uh, the son Horus, my child, this. This is my son Horus. Right, right, right. Uh, although Yoda, I think, would have liked the first version. <laughs> <laughs> no, perfect, perfect. All right. So we broke here, which makes sense. Then broke here again, set to the copper. What do you make out of uh, Sefech or Sefchet? Yeah, I had to look that up. Um, it's remove. Remove, right. And in the imperative. So I think, right? Or not? Uh, no, it's not. Oh, an I don't think so, yeah. Right, because there's an F at the end. So is that a subjunctive? Sefretev? May it go? May it mm. loosen itself? That's kind of weird, though, isn't it? So yeah. May it remove itself at being in the f in my son? Oh, could it be like remove yourself in the sense of, wait, imperative, what does that take? Does that take su or does that take the suffix pronoun um, of the, the, the object of the imperative? I should know that and I don't. Um, how do we figure that out? Because normally, when you when you wanted to say like infinitive plus um, plus um, him or it, right? It would be sefechef um, or sefechdef if that the t is real, um, and the f would be the suffix pronoun for the direct object of the infinitive. But if this here is not an infinitive, but is what else could it be? It could be a subjunctive, and then this would be the suff uh, the the subject. Um, may he remove? But that's kind of weird. Because yeah. you're using Mick here, so you're talking to somebody directly. So it should be mm -hmm. a K. Um, yeah. yeah. This is wild. Okay. Sorry. So mm -hmm. walk me through that one more time. Um, so we're thinking Sefech F is not an imperative, let him go. We're thinking if it's more of a subjunctive, like may, may he be let go or something like that. It's I'm not sure yet. That that is more like what I was wondering about. Which of the two is okay. it? Um, how do you stop? Anyway? So the the EMF the, at the very beginning of the next line would be from him, meaning Horus, right? Right. Okay. Right. That, that's how so I took this, it. These yeah. are these Fs are different, referring <sighs> to different objects. The, the I see first what you're F is the copper. The second is Horus, right? That's how I took it. And that would make some okay. sense. Yeah. Let's take a, a second opinion on that. Um, probably the easiest. Alors, ici, c'est pour ça un grand cri. 
And here we go. Um, ese hajo en chomet sefechev sefechev. So they take it as a subjunctive that he, namely the copper, being being a masculine noun, that he may remove himself. Oh, so this is not a direct speech then. This is this is not like a direct quote, but more like said to the copper that it may remove itself from 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 him, namely Horus. So spoke would be better than say in this. And so right. she spoke to the copper that right. it, yeah. Right. Okay, that makes sense now. Agree. Mm -hmm. And I think the infinitive, ta the imperative would have taken su. Um, like remove him, that would have to, have to be like a like a su if I'm not completely mistaken. So that makes perfect yep. sense then. And the rest, yeah, it's a, it's a nominal sentence with pi, right? So sa... Or by Sherry Pai. It is. It feels like it could have been one of our example sentences from Nevo. It should have been. With huh? that pie at the end. <laughs> right, right, right. I don't think he took that one, though. Okay. No, I don't think so either. Very cool. Any other points about this one that we missed? If not, I would say let's do the hieratic. That was a good start. So, oh, I wanted to say something. This is totally off, well, sort of off subject, but from last week, we were talking about son taking the old form of the possessive pronoun, my son, sa'i versus pa'i. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And I looked back through the text, and sure enough, every time they use the old sa son, they use the old pronoun. And every time they use shari, they use the new possessive pronoun. That really is like fossilized. Wow, Interesting how neat. that works. Mm -hmm. That is very cool. Then again, that's not completely unusual. Um, I'm thinking about how we use the, like my father's car versus the car of my father. I'm wondering if there's like a distribution, if you're like more more likely to use the, the one with the proposition um, instead of the, the more traditional genitive. I'm not sure if that happens in English. But I know something like this happens in Yiddish, where like the, um, the genitive endings are reserved for for close family members. Um, I don't know, my uh, Taten's um, Leben or something like my my father's life uh, instead of das Leben von von mein Taten. I think something like that. I'm, but I'm not completely sure. Uh, I'm just wondering if that's really unique to Egyptian or if that's maybe something we'll also find in other languages if we just look look hard enough. No. Um, the inalienable thing is pretty common in other languages. But the what? I'm sorry? What? The inalienable distinction in uh, possession. Oh, right. Is, like, is like for example? Languages. But I just think there's a lot like, uh, like the Pacific BC Coast languages have a lot of... Uh, complicated belonging words and there's mm -hmm. distinctions not i mean the, the big distinction is whether it's a thing that belongs to you or not but there's also lots of like things that are detachable there's a words for where you attach it and things like that mm -hmm. okay it's irrelevant but that's why i remember that mm -hmm. that's uh not natural, natural i guess yeah. it seems like the simplest explanation is that sherry is just the more modern for late egyptian word yeah and sa yeah. is a more old fashioned word, so it's just it retains its old fashioned right, right. grammatical rule. Right. Yeah, it makes some sense. And then also in titles and things like that. You you'll see things like this also right. in like traditional expressions happening a lot. Um and then again we do the same thing in English, right? Like false majeure or majeure, however you want to pronounce it. Normally the adjective would have to come in front, but because that's like an inherited term from, from legal French or legal Norman, um, we still use the old uh, the, the old inverted adjective or attribute construction. So mm. that, that happens a lot also in, in, in late Egyptian. Like for example, that forming, like what we had last week, the second priest of Amun, um, where you still use the Middle Egyptian word for second instead of the New Egyptian, Late Egyptian, um, mm -hmm. just because, yeah, it's a title. Very cool. So good finding. Um, then let's take a quick look at the, the hieratic before we go on. So, Achain, Ise, Ash, Segab, 
the gabu if you like ah uh, ah uh, uh, um s her jed this we talked about the completely unexpected shape of hamid um hamid broad strokes the s here you just have to believe um sefer sefer okay imf from him mick mick what we do think that those are dual strokes yeah i buy that mick um mick sa what kind of sa just sa not my right just or yeah. maybe probably not just sa horrors the sun horrors sa hor sa hor where are we pi pi yeah pi sherry spelled with the extra w pi sherry with the the bad bird pi sherry pi okay that was easy nothing new really in here for once Ooh, i guess i was confused on whether the Sorry, go ahead, Peter. Go ahead, Ralph. You're fine. Oh, <laughs> the uh, the G seven, the bird on a stick after saw. Like, is that? Hmm. I guess yeah. grammatically, it would go with. Like it would be if it was my son. Like she's already saying pi. So it's just making that it's just marking her son as being divine. It's not a first person mm. suffix. I was wondering about the exact same thing as as I was reading it out. Um... Where is it? It seems here? like it would be on the other side, like it would be before Za if it were if she were referring to herself. It usually gives her a B1 if it if it's going to be a first mm -hmm. person suffix rather than a G7. Yeah, rather than a okay. That's actually a great point. You're right. I mean, she seems to be using the feminine pronoun here. So if this were were my son, you would expect that. But I mean theoretically it could be. It it could be written with a with the like honorific god sign right in principle impossible to resolve would they have been different in the pronunciation would it have been like like sai or sai versus sai like without anything afterwards wouldn't expect a difference it? in pronunciation but probably right you would think there would be a difference between son and my son still at that time mm. would be logical but yeah to Aaron's point, it should look like this, most likely. Hard to say, though. Okay. Very cool. Can we jump back up to um, end of line three, hieratic? End of line um, three, hieratic. Uh, end of line two, that is. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> no worries. End of, end of line two. Sefex uh, rope loopy thingy. What yeah. is the yeah. thing that's underneath the rope um but not one? the horned viper yeah what's that is that just papyrus it's leaking the, off between the two ropes no or? it's it's real but it's the other part of the rope oh. i think so too oh you're saying this is like like this basically yeah i i don't know i don't know that what, makes what sense that is look look a line below we have that same sign and it's exactly the same i think uh, yeah oh I, I think yeah it's just part of the part of that folded or that so that makes perfect sense. Okay, so they do that and then maybe jump a little space and then another. Yeah, it somehow has two legs, even though mm -hmm. yeah. the hieroglyph doesn't. Yep, Here too. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's harder to see because it's kind of broken, but yeah, I think that's the answer. You're right. That's what it is. Okay. okay. Good point. I didn't know. So, Sechef and then the double loopy thing and then. Mm -hmm. The arm goes like this, I guess. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, you know what? The sun with that <laughs> divine determinative on the sun. Look at the very top of the screen. Um, I guess it's the last line of page eight. We see um, sa and then se, her, right before the red. Ah, 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 where are you going? <laughs> now it's at the bottom of the page. <laughs> Oh, 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 I'm sorry. Uh, off page nine, you're saying? No, no, no. The It's the last line of page eight, but we could see it. I think it's the last there line of page eight. Oh, I'm sorry. So I. Or is it the first? Time. Sorry, it's the first line of page nine. Gotcha. Oh, my God. The line numbers. Baby. Yeah, the line numbers confusing, huh? So. You see where um, uh, Hem and Sa 
Seher, right before the aha end. So it's got the divine determinative and then the feminine pronoun. So I'm guessing that they wouldn't use that as the first person pronoun since they're just talking about the sun, this divine sun here. Right. Got it. Okay. So I mean, that's my guess is if they were going to say my son in a later line, I think they would have had the divine determinative and then the pronoun. Makes sense. Then, Makes sense. B7 then B1. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Very good. So let's just say son Horus. For whatever reason, it's not my son in this case. Okay. 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 All right. Who wants the next so one? I have a I have a random question. Oh, go ahead. Uh, that's not related to any late Egyptian. It's related to Coptic. But since you guys know Coptic better than I do, uh, has anybody ever used the Anis tool or what that's all about? I've I've only yes, ever like you. clicked on that thing once, and I was. I have like, used oh. that. It is very difficult to understand what you're supposed to do. <laughs> There's okay. a tab with examples on how to build searches and you have to like follow that exactly or it won't work. Because I kept on putting in a word up from, oh, anyway. Yeah, we could take that offline. Anyway. Yeah. So, And uh, I always use the link from the copticdictionary.org mm -hmm. mm -hmm. because that fills in the limit number for you, which is more accurate than trying to type the word into Anis directly, I find. Sorry. No worries. And do they actually let you edit anything? No, right? If anything that's an analysis is only for, for the initiated. You can't like make corrections or annotate your own text or something of that nature, or can you? I I haven't even gotten that far. Yeah. So I, I don't know. I mean, I think Anis mostly indexes the Coptic scriptorium texts, which are on GitHub, and you can contribute if you want to. But you have to I don't know. You have to have a you have to ask them and say, hey, I want to contribute a text or hey, I found a problem. Got it. You have to ask nicely. Okay, understood. Yeah. But it's not it's not you have to be a member of this European university to even get an account sort of thing. It's more open than that. Got it. That's cool. A lot of things are, but that's that's I mean, I keep promoting the the Turin Museum just because. Once you sign up for free, they give you so much, I mean, access to so much stuff. And I'm su assuming they just do it for, for copyright reasons, but there's really no reason not to sign up. There's like so mm -hmm. many supporting documents for each papyrus. They can just look up transliteration, transcript, I mean, translation, um, researchers' notes, journey's notebook, all sorts of things yeah. for, for a text that otherwise you would never in a million years see. Journey's notebooks are amazing, yeah. yeah? <laughs> oh, right, you saw that, right? Multicolored, yeah. green ink. Oh, well. <laughs> Okie doke. Next sentence, question mark? Sure. I, I can try if you want. Right. So where are we? Again? Okay. So, Ahan Pais Ahent S. Our Sefat Emaf. And so the, and then the, and then her copper uh, released him, I guess, or released from in him. I wasn't yeah, sure about the sense, emoth, right? but, but yeah, yeah. Emoth, from him. I think it's just a phenomenal form of M, okay. M in the sense of, um, of away from and not away in. Him. So it let, her copper let go of him. Basically, yes. Mm -hmm. Winning S. Um, was that him? We him, right? I think I had a okay, really, right, yeah, I had a question about that one. We <laughs> him er, um, qui to f, uh, an er pa mu u f dep something dep im him in. Uh, setach. Okay, and so then she, uh, Uchem is, uh, it's like repeating something, doing it over and okay, so it's like she again through the, uh, well, she again through it, 
silver copper uh on again or also a new time or something uh into the water uh and then it bit into the body of seth so this is parallel construction to two weeks ago or four weeks ago when she threw it into horus and it bit into his hymn his body his majesty his incarnation right 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 avatar yeah yes there we go <laughs> laundry club say again laundry club <laughs> yep okay so let's see no great so with him I think it's Wachem. Should we look it up real quick? What it is? Um, yeah, it is. Coptic? It's it's, it's Wachem. Yeah, Wachem in Coptic, right? Okay. So, so that's a, that's to do again, right? That's that's what I could find. Okay. Yeah. Right. So funny. I always in my head that word always meant to repeat, as in to say something again. Probably oh. the A two made me think that, but it never occurred to me it could mean to do something again as well. I think it can mean that though, Aaron. If I'm not yeah. No, I know, I, I know it can. can mean that. I thought it only meant that. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, apparently it's also to do again. Right, mm -hmm. right, right. So to throw it, infinitive, with the F in this case tied over with a, that new T U F combination to indicate that the T is pronounced. Um and that's, uh, is that the direct ob the direct object pronoun if it's two F there? Yeah, if you want to analyze it that way. Yes, I think so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So she threw it. Okay. And then and again. Then on with the backwards walking legs is, I mean, it just means new in Middle Egyptian, I think. Is it different in? Hmm. I was thinking it was she new, did new She did a new throw again. Yeah, I thought it's like, is it is it um, is it again, like in Coptic, on, or is it back? In this case. I think it's again. I think we've seen it before as again. Right. What is it with you again? Right. Is what what uh, Barry yeah, Harachti asked. As yep. Sutech. Um, can it mean back? Because I think it can also mean like to go back. If I'm not completely mistaken. Mm. Yeah. Lesko has to return to turn back to avert. Yeah, makes sense. And a whole bunch of things. <laughs> I mean, both would make perfect sense in this context. Throw it again into the water, which would be a bit of of a repeat of the Wichem, right? Or, or yeah. throw it again back into the, the water would also work. Um, mm -hmm. Same meaning. Yeah, um, maybe that's part of what's going on. It's not just on, but it's it's returning to the water. Right, right, right. It would be kind of logical. That's where it just came from, right? So it's kind of returning to the water, which we would have to express by again in English, what you're going to do. To re-throw it. FDP. What do you make out of the M something? Yeah, that was interesting. I... Mm. Isn't that just I had, the preposition? I had into. I, I thought it was into, but I've never seen, and maybe I just haven't seen enough, the D underneath the M before. But Nah, I haven't seen that, that either. Mm, I don't think so. Okay. I'm thinking it's MD actually. Let's see what Ramsey oh, says. Okay. MD. Ramsey just has it as M. Hmm. Which would make a lot more sense in this context, actually. So maybe it is just M. Oh, that is interesting. So what's up yeah. with the D underneath? <laughs> or that, um, whatever that glyph sign is, yeah. Well, there's a theory that they put the, like, they write, they write it with, like, the imperative so often that people just get in the habit of putting the arm underneath and it's just turned uh, into M. Like that's, okay, okay. I don't know if you believe that one or really, out, but... No firm opinion on it, but it's, I mean, it, it appears a lot just like in the beginning of, of nouns, for example, when you have an M, it's often like that M with the extra R, or it mm -hmm. could be, could be the M with the, with that little, little jar, which is pronounced me. I mean, those, those look the same in hieratic, right? So, but I don't recall seeing this for, for the purpose. I don't recall seeing this in this text. But... Right. 
but then Dippy MD would that make any sense? Um, mm, if you yeah. guys, I mean, to taste with kind of weird. Um, if you guys don't mind, let's have a quick look at what Ellie does just to. Ellie, 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 where are you? Here we go. Just get a second opinion there. Searching, searching. So two brothers, here we go. Other than that, um, we are on somewhere here. I apologize for all the, the rubbish on the screen. Um, interestingly, by the way, I just noticed that he thinks it's Sa'i. I'm not sure. I'm con I'm convinced, oh. but <laughs> just throwing that out there. I just saw that was huh. Emiofilio Horus uh, or Horus, um, but I still find what we said pretty plausible. Huh. Where are we? Wechem er, Wechem er, an er bamu. Oh, there it is. It's right underneath the thingy. Yeah, oh, sorry, it has to... the border. Let me take my. My scribbling's out. Um, but you can see it. He says sick here. Right. Mm. So he, he also like thinks it. it's just an M. Mm. Okay. All right. I'd budge. I mean, if you look at the hieratic, it's like it's a clear ligature with M, D. So it's very intentional, right? Let's take so a look at we'll, that. I mean, maybe he wrote the wrong thing on purpose, but but it's not. Okay, I have another hieratic question on this line, too. Let's go ahead. When we get there. Okay, why is the Seth animal written sitting down versus, uh -huh. I mean, like with all fours as opposed to uh, sitting? Yeah, way. usually he's sitting up, but now he's lying down. Yeah. I mean, is he cooler here that way, or is it something there's more of him to for the harpoon to hit i mean i don't know, I don't know. Or maybe emphasizing the fact that it struck him yeah and i mean people make up lots of stories there's i think <laughs> maybe i'm reading too much into it i don't know i, I think it, I, I should double check i think this one the very last time when he finally acknowledges that horace is king he's written standing up Oh, wow. And so some people are like, oh, the whole time he's been sitting down because he's not standing up for his proper role. And now, now he's he's achieving, he's assuming his proper role in society. And so he's an upright creature. Wow. Well, um, and if there weren't so much. It goes back and forth through the text. Right. Though. Right. Yeah, but sometimes he's laying down, sometimes he's sitting up. But the uh, but I mean, my problem with that is there's so many random variations in what yeah. they write that I don't believe it's necessarily meaningful. Like it makes a great okay. story, but yeah, it's certainly more sympathetic this way because he looks like a puppy dog. He's just right. Yeah. <laughs> well, also, I mean, the other and the other glyph is more anthropomorphic. This one's just an animal, and right now yeah. he's oh, a hippo. A so maybe right. you could oh. read into it that like now he's now he's an animal, less than he is a humanoid god. He's being less anthropomorphic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that's I mean, that's and one of any number of ridiculous answers you could come up with, but it is sure. very cute. Look at him; he's a puppy dog. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> puppy dog, puppy ant eater. But like mm -hmm. on, the, on the, I was transcribing the next page. Uh, this weekend and like he always does these amazing cobras mm -hmm. yeah yeah except there's one here with hawthor where it's just kind of this w like it's tiny and i had mm -hmm. i had to look at at uh gardner to figure out what it was because i don't know huh. and and it's right before um 
uh, who's the other goddess? Nechem. Anyway, it's right before another one where it's written full size again. So it just it seems like there are random variations sometimes. You know, maybe the scribe didn't like Hathor, but it seems unlikely. Right. I mean, one thing I'd point out is that just like a few words down, he's vertical again. Yeah, he's standing up again. Yep. Yeah, right. So I, I like think... Aaron's explanation. That's cool. Yeah, because now he has to speak, so he has to sit up and be human. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave it at that. <laughs> Could be either way. I think the one thing that this text has really taught me is with all the variation, um, at least this scribe, and I'm assuming he's not the only one, um, is not intentionally going for repeatability, but actually the opposite. If he can write it differently, he will. Um, mm -hmm. And just for like, sometimes for space-saving reasons. Like I could imagine that you would write the, mm -hmm. the horror sitting up at the end of the line just because otherwise it's going to look weird. Um, mm -hmm. But I think sometimes just to show that you can write it so many different ways. Um, mm -hmm. There's this famous story about a, a Chinese intellectual, actually. It's from the early beginning of last year, uh, last year, last, last century. Um, he had like four different ways to write one particular character, and that's what he took a lot of pride in. The sort of the... the, the um, the modern author is belittling this this character by saying, well, he's not good for anything in life, but that's something that he could do. He could write the same character four different ways. And and I'm wondering if something of like of that kind is is playing into this, that you can just show off your mm -hmm. artistry as an accomplished scribe. Right. right. Do something like this. Who knows? So mm -hmm. There are artist arguments like that, even in like uh, English typography, that like Back when we oh. used movable type, the different physical letters that were pressed into the paper would wear differently because each one got used a different amount. And that gives a slight variation to the shape of the letters across the page. Mm -hmm. and, it's, and it's not something you consciously notice unless you look for it. But modern printed books don't do that because they're all laid out by a computer and everything's as, as identical as possible. And right. that's one of, part of the charm when you look at an older book is it's is it's a just tiny bit like it's as perfect as a human could make it but there's still imperfections you can see hmm. that's true that's true it gives more it's life fun. to the page doesn't it yeah makes it more lively hmm. very cool um hieratic wise where did we start um i think we got this far we got did we get this far yeah we got to that aha uh -huh end okay. yep then here again, same as before, Aha in Pai, Pais, Hamid. Um, so apparently that little circle can look like a T. That's interesting. I think we're missing a T. Yeah, I think we're missing a T there. Yeah, Pais. Oh, you're right. We're missing a T. Very yeah, good point. Between the Hamid. Good catch. Now, this author just likes to, to put an extra T. Maybe it was pronounced "se" at that point in time. That's what I'm what I'm thinking, but yeah. who knows? Maybe it's just graphical. Then Hamid, Sefech, again that double line thingy, Sefech Imaf. When in have we talked about this one here? The Wechem? Oh yeah, that's an yeah. interesting way to leg of cow or yeah. cow or whatever. It's kind of damaged. I, I mean, the leg part is pretty clear. Uh -huh. The what part is pretty clear? The wet, the the leg is clear. Oh, this one here, right? Check mm. mark on top of it. Yeah, yeah right. I think yeah. that's where it should be. Let's take a quick look, though. Do you have the glyph number, Rav? No, I know you always go with those. I'm not. <laughs> Otherwise, I didn't write it down. And... You could try Wacham. Look it up by twenty five oh, automatically on this site. I forgot. Wow, oh, good job. Did you have it? I don't know if this, this one doesn't do the, the phonetic thingy, but F25, I found it. Oh, look at that. It should be a cross. <laughs> Perfect. So it's a B with a cross. Yeah. Hmm. And we just don't see that. Or later, then it could be a B with a with uh, almost like the, the bird on a stick, like an extra thing mm -hmm. on top. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Erstellt von Georg Möller. Made by Georg Möller. Okay, It's, I guess we're putting an attribution there. Interesting. Wait, no. Where are we? Here we go. Okay, so I guess that is a cross here, and then a B, and then two strokes for whatever reason, whatever we're abbreviating here. Um, Erhui or something. Erhui, that funny thing that we talked about before that looks like a, like an, like an M almost. Mm -hmm. An with a reverse nail or reverse walking legs. Um, well, here's a question then on the transcription of that character. Uh, it looks like an F in our transcription, but it looks like a three the other way. Do you see what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, yeah. This does it, here, need, right? does it need to be swapped? Is it or is it? Is it? I'm so puzzled. Way? Yeah, this is a great question <laughs> because I see Gardner has it as a mirror image of what we have, but. I mostly see it the way we have it. I don't know what the difference is. I don't know why. Okay. Yeah, it's a weird hieratic only character, right? Which mm -hmm. which arose in hieratic. Um, I don't know. All I can tell you, Peter, is that it's consistent in this text. Whenever he wants to write the word uh, we or however you pronounce it, um, he uses I mean this. One thing that's consistent is like the hieratic character in the fonts always has a curve, a tail that curves away from the right. square part. And this mm. scribe always writes it curving toward. So that's a consistent mm. difference between our document and the normal one. But as far as which direction the things point, I, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe we should flip ours around to match the hieratic. So normally, or not normally, but often it would be the other way around in hieratic. Mm. Oh, I didn't know that. That's cool. Honestly. Well, the tail goes differently. Like in ours, it looks, as you say, it looks like a three, but it looks like an F yeah. here. So is, is this that FF100 or something? An FF100? Let me see. FF100, I think? Mm, not no? FF. They don't have FFs in uh... They don't have FFs. Maybe it's under Z. Yeah, sometimes it's under Z. That's not a Z either, under AA? No, not AA either. Ah, oh, come on, you're being difficult. What should it be? Um, Out there. You see it? Ah, oh, here, yes. What are we? Z12. No, Siri, I don't think you know that okay. one. Another random question then. How is the Unicode standard going for... Egyptian. <laughs> Will uh, there be a day that we have widespread computing in Egyptian? <laughs> so there are a couple of things. We have most of the signs for non-Ptolemaic stuff. Oh. And we have most devices actually have a font, have spot support for it now. Oh, so oh. you can paste that and it'll work. But they won't be composed into quadrats. They'll oh. be kind of falling over. Wow. Two years ago, they pub they added to Unicode characters to let you stack them in simple ways. Wow. And so on the one hand, you'll hear from Egyptologists that the, you can't stack it accurately enough to represent all the different writings there are. Wow. On the other hand, none of the fonts that are widely distributed on devices support the stacking characters. Hmm. So you can generate it with JSESH, but when you paste it into your phone, it just comes up with a bunch of, uh, I guess they call them tofu, the little unknown character boxes in between. Hmm. Mm. And so I think the major thing now is somebody needs to contribute support for the fonts that are used on the Apple and the, the Windows, Apple Windows and uh, Android devices mm. to support the stacking characters. And then we will be able to cut and paste most text and it'll look right. They're also working on standardizing more glyphs and more stacking characters and future versions of Unicode. But I'm not sure quite how that's going. Mm. Cool, thank you. So. That I saw a post some time ago, maybe like five months, maybe, that Microsoft was moving to to adopting those stacking characters. Um, I, thought, I thought I saw something flying around, but yeah, it's not out yet for sure. 
But honestly, I mean, Egyptus and 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 um, what's it called? Uh, Egyptian higher road. They are, they cover, I would say, like ninety eight percent of what you need on a day to day basis mm-hmm. in terms of combos. It's not as good as JSash, but at least you can do most of your everyday high hieroglyphic writing if you need high, everyday hieroglyphic writing. <laughs> I don't. Right yeah. You have to use that font, right? Like it will work in your phone on your phone. Oh, it doesn't. Yeah, it only works on. Let's see. It would work on your computer. It doesn't work on your phone. You're right. Yeah. Oh, does it? Could it doesn't you? even. It doesn't even really work in Discord, right? Like Discord doesn't to, work at all. That's you have to set it because yeah. <laughs> Discord doesn't allow you to use custom fonts to begin with. So yeah, you have to be able to tell the application to use a particular font. Right. 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 So now you're right. Which I've done on Linux, but you can't do on most versions. Um, Anyway, well, it would be nice if somebody did it. I mean, I'm assuming that because it's such a niche thing that either some enthusiast has to do it or somebody needs to write a grant to fund a type designer to do to add this. Or you get something crazy like a thousand dollar ritual magic Coptic book that... (laughs) Yeah. Sell a couple six, 1600. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> well, if anybody yeah. listens to the video and you feel that you want to bequeath your estate to the development of <laughs> 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 here's a worthwhile cause, just say. There you go. <laughs> Okie doke. Let's see. So, we talked about this puppy. We talked about Toof. No, we didn't, but we don't have to because we know what it is. An er pa mau mau mau. The backwards walking legs, which yeah, has anybody are completely different from the forward walking legs, but it's a very right. clear distinction. Like it's yeah. much more easy to distinguish than the hieroglyphs. Well, snails can't Why? walk backwards, so it has to look different. <laughs> Why? What, what's the point of the walking backwards leg? Is there like a? Is that? I don't know. I, I guess I just don't understand why they would write it backwards that way as opposed to writing it forwards. Is well, because you're going back. If you're doing something again. Oh, if you're repeating it back, again. Oh, yeah. okay, thank Anytime you. Anytime it's got that connotation, they use the backward legs. Oh, okay, thank you. That was helpful. Yep, that makes perfect sense. And then it just looked very different on the way to higher attic, just because the stroke order, I guess, is, is different and they take very different shapes. It's kind of fascinating to see. Looks more like a saunter to me than, a, you know, like a walking to get somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> the Ministry of, of uh, City Walks is still. Silly Walks, right. Right. Yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> um, pa, Mao. UFR, no, not L. You would think L, but it's step. And the only way you know it's step is because that apparently is a tongue. Hmm. Yeah. Which I think has to be taken as an article of faith because yeah. Yeah. I don't see it. Um, Ness, one of the few good cognates. Ness, Lise, what's going on here? Hey. Is Tsukuba broken? Or is it not Ness? No, it's Ness. It has to be. Wow. It's weird. The paleography is broken. That's not good. Well, luckily we have a second option. Is it an animal tongue or a human tongue? Animal. Okay. There it is, F20. Oh, there you go. Hmm. There is like another form. Here we go. Look at that. Oh. Do the have a dot? A th- Ooh, let's see. I thought I had more of like a swoosh. Does ours have a dot? Not really. Ours yeah. is dotless. But I sort of understand what's going on here. Um, I mean, I guess that's how you normally would do it. And then you can make it a little bit more zigzag like then if you want to do the dot you would add the dot on the on the left hand side that makes some sense looks like that funny funny character for number six right in coptic wow the uh wow, stick wow. Bar, whatever it's called 
It's, yeah, what what is it called? Uh, it's it's an old uh, digamma, isn't it? The um, oh, stigma. You're right. It's called stigma. Stigma. Hmm. Nah. Well, whatever. That's why it is here. So, what else? There's the ligature that Ralph already mentioned. Yeah, yeah. Chem looks like an S, honestly. Um, N Sutich. That tail looks like a viper. It does, <laughs> yeah. And that's it. Okay. Can we squeeze one more sentence in there? We have nine minutes. Mm. Come on, we can do it. I'll go. All right. I thought my mic was open earlier, but I was talking to myself. (laughs) 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 Wow. Uh, Okay. Uh, So we have AHA. uh, We're at, okay, good. So we're um, AHA E? No. This is the set animal. Yeah, AHA E. No, AHA Sitesh. Right. Ash. Segeb Ea Mjed Eri Yeah Eri and we have Ich Er uh oh is this Er E again? Um is that in the wrong place? E er Senet uh, no, no. What could it be? When you have the um, the Oh the um one. is it Er Er Eret? Mm-hmm. That's right. Yeah, that's Senet Aset. And then we have E. I can't see the rest. Of it. Can you bring it up a little bit? Thank you. Yep, that's perfect. So we have E. Ashni Hemet. Um, Hemeti. No, Hemet. Hemetet. Sechef. In E. Yeah, in the, and then a, a new sentence starts there, right? Inuk right. uh, uh, Inuk No, ah, I'm getting my problems. <laughs> no, I think you're right. Pati sin e mut aset. I messed up that pa e pa et pa et. No, should that be? Paets, yeah. If you want to be historically correct, then it would be paech or paet. That's right. Um, is the T pronounced? One hundred percent certain, no. <laughs> so either either answer would have been correct. One would have been what they actually said, and one would be what it historically was. Okay. <laughs> okay cool. And um, let's see here. Go back up. Where did we start at? Um. So are we are we carrying? Uh, we're ending at the the asset, right? The last mm-hmm. right, agree. No, perfect. Okay, more that. Let's so start. then, mm-hmm. then set. Uh oh, Ash, is it scream out? Yeah, no, not scream out. Um, yes, yeah, the scream out or spoke out mm-hmm. or cried out. That's what I had. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, set Segeb. Uh, I don't remember. A great. Then set gave a uh, screamed out a great cry or something or mm-hmm. that's right yep yep that's right um and then we have MJ is that is that is this the also again uh, MJ um no. I know what you're thinking about um I think it's just saying like saying okay well, saying okay saying and then we have ear e so there's a verb so this is um ear, e. What have I um what have I done? Mm-hmm. Exactly, exactly. Mm-hmm. What have I done to to her or oh, to what have I done? Oh wait, uh, what have I done to and then her sister? What have I done to my not to my sister? Um what have I done to her, my sister? Why her? What would she be like if it were a rich? Erech. Oh, to her. Uh, almost. Not eret, but erech, with like a ch. In Middle Egyptian. It's the second um, person. 
Yeah, so air with, with respect to air, and then H would be her. That's right. So uh, to to you. Ah, to you, yes. Feminine, yes. Yep. This is yeah. Thank you. No way. Yep. What have I done to you, my sister, or or sister Aset? Mm -hmm. Right. And then we have E Ash again. So I, I'm assuming this is going to be see Ash to cry out to the. So this is like this is an imperative again. Perfect. It is with the uh, pathetic yod. Mm -hmm. Pathetic yod, right? To cry out to the August command, the the copper spear tip to come forth from me. Right. From with from within me, or we're from. From me. Not from, I think it's from it's me. Just from. Mm -hmm. Because okay, that, from. Mm -hmm. That has to be in me, I think, or in my, something like that. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. And then there's one more sentence. And then it says, uh, I am your, I am your, no, not your, I am my, uh oh, this is one of those forms again. So this is the Inukpa'i, so this is my, and then we have sister, Oh, by etch again, your sister. And then we have an sin e and my brother. Um, it's rather choppy here. So we have my sister. Then we have sin, the brother, right? With sin e. Yeah, let's just do that. So it's Anuk. Anuk. Mm -hmm. You I had am. Pi. H correctly, pi H, sin, and what do you make out of this one? Uh, mut, mother. Mm -hmm. That's right. Aset. That's right. Something like this. Let's move it over so it's actually read legible. Uh, I failed. Nah. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's not cooperating. Um, there we go. So anak paich sin and mut ise. So what do you think sin and mut is? Um, brother of. Wait, brother of mother. That's right. <laughs> like I guess of of one mother or something. This is what's meant here. I mean, can you be a maternal brother? Is that a thing? Yeah, because if they have different fathers but the same mother, then they're half siblings by mother. That would make sense, right? So I'm your, I'm the maternal brother, um, and not any maternal brother, but I'm Paich Sen and Mood. I'm. She says, "I am your brother, and I'm your brother from the same mother." From, the, <laughs> hmm, from the same mother. Not a brother from another mother. Yes. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> And I think we'll have to leave it here, but no, well done. Um, that was it, you're right. So what have I done to you, Isis? I think that's a past tense, um, not a second tense or something. So I have done what to you? Um, Sister Isis, uh, call out to the your copper. Um, I guess this one, I'm not sure what that is. Maybe we can pick that up next yeah. time. Call out to your copper, go away from me. Is that an imperative now? Would have to be, right? Because there's no suffix pronoun or anything. If it were, again, that it should go, it would be uh, but it isn't. So maybe it's just call out to, to your copper, go away from me, or uh, remove thyself from me. Anuk, Paich, Sen, and Mut, Ise. Very cool. Let's break here and see you all next week for Ramses. And then uh, the week after, we pick up here in the middle of line nine. Uh, sorry, line five. Five. Thank you. Thanks, awesome. much Thanks everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.